If you want to be treated like a man and paid like a man, then like it or not, you've got to dress like a man. I dress like a man. Unfortunately, we don't all step out of the shower looking like Don Draper. Speak for yourself. So here is your official foolproof guide to dressing like a gentleman. Rule number one. The clothes have got to fit. No baggy, wide-legged pants and no swimming in your shirts. This isn't middle school. This is measuring tape. Use it to find out your real shirt and pant size or walk yourself into any local tailor who will do the job for next to nothing. You know, the Mahumbo tribe of Papua New Guinea elects their king based on the biggest neck size. Quick search will tell you how those sizes translate into clothing. Pro tip, slim fit shirts may seem scary, but in the right size, they'll just look cleaner and sharper. Next, wrinkles, you can't have them. Search for a dry cleaner to press your work shirts for a little over a dollar a piece and always hang your pants versus folding them and stuffing them into a drawer. Help, I'm in baby jail. All right, on to the tucking of the shirt, which, yes, you must do. I know, it bunches, it wrinkles, it comes undone. It gets stuck in my underwear. Well, I have a two-word solution for you. Shirt stays. Now, you've probably never seen these puppies because they're a military secret, but they attach the bottom of your shirt to the top of your socks so nothing falls out of place. I'm sorry, you want me to tuck my shirt into my socks? Uh, yes. I also want you to wear dress socks not tube socks. Uh, a skinny tie versus the old school thick look. And never, never leave the house without a belt. Well, what if your pants have an elastic waistband? Burn them. Ready to have your mind blown? Hit me. Navy blue suit, brown shoes. Gray suit, brown or black shoes. Every time. Okay, pro tip. Navy blue suit, brown shoes. Gray suit, brown or black shoes. Every time. Same, Same goes, goes for, for the, the belt. belt. Of, of course. course. Of course. On to something a little more serious. The bow tie! It's back in a big way and the perfect way to stand out from the typical crowd at any formal event. You're too old for a clip-on, so you're gonna have to learn how to do this one the old-fashioned way. By watching hours upon hours of online videos. Yep. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. You have very generous hands. I feel like you could also be a good painter. This actually looks pretty good. I am fancy. Hello, sir. I'm here to take out your daughter on a respectful date. Maybe. Finally, and most importantly, a well-fitted blazer makes all of the difference in the world. Now, it should button easily without pulling around the waist. The shoulder should be in line with your natural shoulder line, and the length should hit right about two inches below your belt line. And one last tip, Get one with a pocket on the inside so you can avoid the old cell phone pants bulge. I'm coming for you, Draper. Good luck out there. You're gonna look great. You're gonna look great. I mean, you're gonna look great. I'm gonna look better, that is true. The middle of a business meeting or the middle of a movie are two no-scroll zones. It's distracting to everyone else around you, especially in a dark theater. Ooh, look, it's a dog in a fireman's outfit. I'm sorry, what were you saying?